There we go. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited. I'm excited too. So have you done this before? Um, no. So I had a friend that was in like a group session. Maybe, okay, cool. Like like a while back. And so I've just been stalking all your everything since then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very cool. Okay, cool. So let's let's dive in. Um, so then, because 30 minutes goes fast, I'm going to record the video for you. There's a female coming forward. Um, maybe there's two. Um, uh, but there's a, are you here to connect to a female primarily? Because this, this is yes. a female soul that's like, she's here for me. And I, and I, I felt it from a female. So yes. um, it's, I don't know if this is like. Could it, could it be a sister? 1000%. Oh my gosh. We have your sister. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. So are we even are we even two minutes in? Oh my god! <laughs> wow. wow! Wow! Do something that connected to taking of her own life, or not doing something that um, she should have. There's some sort of like accountability with her life. So maybe it's just things that she didn't take seriously enough to do that prevented in her passing to where it's not suicide, but she's taking responsibility of yes. doing things that took her life. So she, she, had a drug, she had a drug right. problem okay. and then her. So she's talking. Death. Yes. Okay. She, oh my God. Some kind of a car accident or something in the, in the night. She crashed into a ditch or her, or maybe her and her car were put in the ditch. We don't know. Um, but where her body was found was, was, in a, was in a low lying area that was often covered in water. When, when she was missing, I had that I could only, I can only call it a vision. I was praying, dear Lord, please help us know. And I felt that I was underwater, but I was at peace. I wasn't scared. And so then it was about a month or two later, they found her in this low lying area. That's where her remains were found. She, like, she shows me hiding from health or hiding from things that she knew that she was either supposed to do or something like her body. She called 911 and they couldn't find her. They found her car and they told her to stay with the car. And there was a search and they couldn't find her. And she was, her, her remains weren't found for a very long time. I like to think that there's just good in everybody. I like to think that everyone is good. And she's reminding me that's not the case. And no. he's, you have to, so you have to, that's how she thought. She, she saw the good in everyone. That's what I'm she saying. She had a heart of gold, but that's she right. seemed to gravitate towards the people that had no good in them. What a crazy validation that her soul's at peace. The fact that she's able to give me an emotion that she felt, which is, I wish everyone was good. I, I see good in all. And that she was taken advantage of. Her sweet soul was taken advantage yes. of. And that her sweet innocence or naiveness of thinking that it's almost like she was helping someone and she was taken advantage of. Yes. Or she put herself out um, wrong time wrong. Like something like she misread somebody's intentions. Yes. And it was orchestrated. People knew what they were doing. Her body was somewhere for a duration of time. And it was enough time to where it was almost like a lost cause. So nothing came from this. Yes. She knows. Yeah. She knows. Okay. But I'm going to tell you what, because she's adamant about this. And I know it's not what you want to hear, but she keeps saying it's beating her up. Not knowing what happened to me is beating her up. And she's on this like, like courageous course of like, I'm going to find out what happened to her and I'm going to lift her up in justice. I mean, I'm going to do it so that we, sh her life has something to live from yeah. or like this warrior yeah. stance in which you've chosen to take when you're in your mind, in your mind. Yeah. And cause it's, it's, it's a, it's a curated reality that she shows in that she says, I need her to let it go. 
I need her to know that my soul is at peace. Are you having, to, she's talking about having to learn how to do hair or did you have to learn how to do this? Like, did you have to learn to, to treat the hair? My daughter's hair. She's like, yeah. talk about how she had to learn how to treat the hair or how to do the hair. How, how she did or how I did? You. She's, she Me. says in spirit how you, <laughs> like she says in spirit, she watched you learn yes. how to care for the hair. Yes. Our, our daughter has this very African-American, super coily, kinky hair. And so I have spent hours and hours over the years on YouTube trying this white mama learn how to do black hair. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sweet I love that in spirit she's acknowledging that while you are helping her daughter learn yeah. about her hair she in spirit is watching that so know that as you're navigating motherhood yeah. with your daughter that right. you guys are sharing motherhood together that's really cool I love that so does she just have the one she has two she has two daughters that oh. was a who's the 11 year old that's, um, that's Ari. That's my niece that lives with my parents. She, okay. she was a lot closer to her. We pretty much got the 12 year old at, at birth due to like drugs and child protective services and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, so she's, she's wanting, like, she's trying to validate she's around the girls and that she's trying to do everything she can to make it right and overcompensate on the other side, like protecting, like, so of course I have a soul that's trying to acknowledge like being around people that she did poorly by. Um, everyone that was involved knew her. Mm -hmm. you know okay. do, you, do you understand that? Yeah, it, it makes sense. And I don't know who all those people were because she and I were estranged at the time, um, which I feel a lot of guilt about. So, but, listen, she says that she was very hard to love. She was hard to get through. She was very stubborn. This is why she was telling me in the beginning that she had people talk to her and that she wasn't listening. Like she wasn't listening. She, she wants to thank everyone for trying to help her though. But she says that, she got to a place with everyone where it, everyone got to a place of realizing that this was who I was going to be. And so they stopped doing what they were used to doing, which was trying. They yeah. just got used to my normal. Yeah. And it was a bad, she, so was she in and out of something like rehab or jail or something? Um, yeah, she went to a girl's uh, uh, like a girl's home um, on a couple of occasions. She was in and out of jail. She went to rehabs. She's, she's um, talking about, she's talking about how she is such a young soul where she couldn't get her shit together and that she was trying all these adult responsibilities and all of these things that everybody else was doing. But if it was up to her, she would be a 15 year old girl. Like yes, always very immature. Like she just never would get it together. So because of those shortcomings, I need you to know that she's able to provide more in spirit. So although you feel as though her life was cut short because um, of a tragic incident, mm -hmm. um, she's actually acknowledging her place in spirit and how she can actually be the version of herself that she always longed to be. So as you are going through a lot of your healing and, and letting go of some things, it's important that you know that she is where she needs to be to be the person she wished she could be. Okay. That helps. That helps a lot. Do you, do you wear a piece of jewelry? Um, not, not of hers. Um, a grandmother's? I, yeah, I have, a, I have a grandmother's ring. I have, I have is this two. mom's mom? I'm wearing it. Cool. <laughs> so your grandmother was like a mother to you because I can feel you growing up. Do you connect to Texas? Yeah, we're in Texas. Ah, because she's 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 all about writing. So she's like Texas. So yeah. Uh, so that's home base. Yes, that's that's us. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Howdy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, I hope you enjoyed your reading, my dear. I loved it. <laughs> this has been the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All well, right. thank I'll you so you. much. Have a good day. Thank you. I'll see you again. <laughs>